Greetings, all. Hope you're doing okay. It is an unusual time we're in. And it got me to thinking, at a time like this, what does my soul need? Psalm 84, verse 2 says, My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My, my heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. So as the world seems to have come to a screeching halt with the dangers posed by COVID-19, I think we find ourselves with more time to think, and if we are willing, more time to pray and more time to consider the deeper things of life. Because let's face it, when you're rushing off to school and work and school activities and even the trips that we enjoy taking, thoughts about deeper things can get pushed aside very quickly. The deepest part of every one of us is our soul. Psalm 84 speaks of a yearning. It's deep inside of us, a yearning of the soul, yearning for God. Now, I know what some of you are thinking right now. You're saying this soul stuff is for monks and weird holy guys. You know, I don't have time for navel gazing and retreats where you burn incense and don't talk to each other for days. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is soul care. Now, I grew up thinking that all that mattered when it came to my soul was the destination of my soul. You know, heaven or hell. But I never thought about the condition of my soul. And what I've discovered is that a soul in sick condition is not headed for a good destination. The health of your soul is a big deal. What I want to assure you of is that no matter who you are, and what your situation is, the most important thing about you is your soul. Now, you may have a really delightful personality. You may even have a brilliant mind for mathematics. You may be able to lift heavy objects at a gym. You may be able to run a really fast mile, which would make me mad, by the way. And you may be excellent in the work you do, but none of that is as important as caring for your soul. The word soul literally means your life or your essence. It's the fundamental part of us that never dies. Now, much of what we focus on with all of our energy is on the surface. It's our outer world. But your soul is that deepest part of you that is alive now and has unlimited potential to bring life that is rich and meaningful, eternal, and exciting. The problem is your soul and mine is under attack. Uh, Peter talked about this in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and aliens to abstain from sinful desires that war against your soul. And then Jesus had these words in Matthew 16. He said, what good will it be for man if he gains the whole world yet forfeits the soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Now, I don't, I don't want to be too dramatic, but taking care of your soul is a war. It's a spiritual war, and the stakes are so high because our soul is our very life. So what does your soul need? Your soul needs God. And in the deepest part of you, your soul yearns for God. And that is why you need to have time with God in silence, in prayer, in meditation, in confession, and worship. And what better time than now 
to start taking care of your soul. Jesus had this wonderful invitation in Matthew eleven twenty nine. He said, come to me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Now, one tip that I would give you that has helped me a lot in terms of being attentive to the needs of my soul. And that is that the best place to start doing life with God is in small moments. Linda and I were walking one morning recently, and there was a spectacular sunrise. And it became a moment with God where both of us could express our thanksgiving to God for his greatness and the beauty of creation. It can be that moment where you're watching your children or your grandchildren laugh and play, and it can be a moment with God where you say to God, that's amazing, God. Thank you, Lord. Just a moment. This morning, the first words that came to mind as I started my day were these. Be with me, Lord. I cannot live without you. I I know it's words from an old hymn, but it came to my heart and it enriches my soul. By the way, taking care of your soul is not just for your benefit. It's really for the benefit of others that you work with, that you live with, and that you worship with because a healthy soul is an amazing blessing to all those we encounter. So during this time, give your soul what it needs. Your soul needs God. Let's pray. Gentle Father, please help me to care for my soul. Help me to find my rest in you, my hope in you, my peace in you. My soul longs for you, dear Lord. Be with me moment by moment. Help me to be still and come to know that you are truly God. Refresh my soul today. In Jesus' name, amen.